So, you finished your exams. Now what? I'll tell you what I'm gonna be doing. <laughs> Good night, guys. <laughs> like, I haven't gotten enough sleep in ages. Life after exams can feel a little bit meaningless, or you can just feel burnt out. For all those that have finished exams, it is now time to treat and take care of yourself. Before anything, we have to rest. Don't worry about waking up early, just let your body sleep for as long as it needs to. Resting also includes doing things like going outside, maybe for a walk. I don't know, I just hadn't left the house in a hot second, so it was really nice for me to just get some fresh air and literally just stare into nothing. There are birds. I was gonna film myself sitting on the grass, but the grass is literally wet because it's raining so bad right now, but it's okay. Step two, reflect. Whether or not you think you did well for these exams, there's always something to improve on. Reflecting really allows you to pinpoint what you can do for next time. Also, journaling can really help you just process reality whether or not you're proud, disappointed, or angry with this exam season, it's okay to let it out because now's the time to just process all of your emotions. Okay, so I wanted to talk to you guys about what I learned this exam season. The main biggest thing that I learned for this exam season was to find a solid exam routine and to not solely just be studying 24-7 because I kind of let go and dropped like literally all my hobbies as soon as exam season started and expected to do better but to be honest i wish i had not let go of any of my hobbies and continued doing them just because those hobbies and you know those events and stuff help kind of refresh your mind before you start another study session and trying to only study for the past two weeks has not been good for me so I would say next exam season, I'm definitely going to have a better routine and incorporate things outside of schoolwork so that my mind can be a little bit more refreshed and not just thinking about school. This was actually about a few hours after my exam, but I like did this, I don't know. Just kind of um, face what you're feeling and know that it will pass. This might be out of character for me because I do consider myself very introverted, but I also realized how much not being around my friends and just close people in my life would lower my mood. It just genuinely felt so good to be around people again after exam season. I like being by myself, but that was too much, way too much. Oops. I went through like two hall pens, dead empty on the inside. Oh my. This has been a lifesaver for my files and stuff. And this whole thing is what I have next to my desk. It's from Ikea. So good. And you can move it around. I think I just have the stand here. I put all my books here. And then I just have random other things here. 
Today, I'm gonna be oiling my hair because before I wash my hair, which needs to be washed, it is greasy, I'm going to put some coconut oil on it because you girl looking so crusty right now. I should maybe take out my hair first. And so I'm gonna oil it before I wash it all out. Honestly, don't need this much. I think I over -poiled. Poiled, over poured. Is that a word? Yeah. Basically, your aim is to get the oil in the scalp. I'm pretty sure there are things such as like applicators and stuff, but I don't have that. So yeah. Usually, my m mother oils my hair, but I have to do this by myself today. <laughs> and the first time I do it by myself, I of course I have to film it on camera so that people can judge me. eyebrows and I literally <gasps> I feel like I look like a different person I wax and it's really helpful when you get to learn how to do it by yourself because then you don't have to pay like what $50 just to get it done you can just do it yourself as you can tell my hair is still really greasy and oily so I think it's time to obviously wash it out I think the oil sat on my scalp for a good amount of time so I'm gonna Wash all this out, and you guys will see me after I do so. <gasps> hey! My hairdresser said that my hair absorbs water really easily, so this is what happens after I shower. You ready? hair is a little bit less crazy okay so after i blow dry my hair you can see it's still a bit damp um when it's a bit damp i like to comb my hair straight down isn't it annoying when like your hair is straight but like the ends are like awkwardly curved upwards i don't know it's like i just want it good to go straight down so i take advantage of this when the hair is wet i comb it like straight down and so that the ends kind of dry a bit more straight, if that makes sense. I don't know. It half works, it half doesn't. But yeah, I'm feeling literally so much more fresh. Like, I'm so glad I did this. I guess going up isn't just about, you know, the makeup and stuff. But yeah, sometimes it's just the little things, like the little self-care things that you do. I'm going back to school tomorrow, by the way. And I'm scared because we're going to get our exam results tomorrow. And it's, I don't know, the thought of it scares me. But I'll be talking to you guys in my video about how I'm going going to try and brace whatever marks I get and how I do how I will deal with them. I mentally prepare myself for my exam results is that I accept in my mind that I might get high scores but I also might get low scores. You have to first accept the highs and lows because nothing is ever going to be perfect. Know that once you get your result that you did try your best in the moment that you were given. And I feel like this concept is a little bit difficult because when you say, oh, I tried my best but I could have done better and I could have done better. But in truth, you tried your best in that moment, in that time, in the things that you were feeling on that day, with the stress that you had, you really did try your best. And I am so, so proud of you for that. Know that there's always room for improvement and this is just another season of your life so there's always more chances later in the future. No matter what marks you got, I know that you need to treat yourself, you need to be gentle with yourself and you need to remind yourself that this isn't the end of the world and there are so many other opportunities for you to improve on this and there's always going to be a second chance. I'm pretty sure I've pretty much done all that I like wanted to. That's pretty much my post exam like thingy. I wouldn't say it's a routine. I'd say it's something that I just started to help me kind of like wind down after like a fat exhausting season. 